Asari look just like Bluturians. Look at the head fringe. <laughs> Wait, you don't think they're like mind controlling us to see them as attractive, do you? Please be quiet. You're going to ruin Asari for me. And there aren't many Turian women on Ilium. Okay, okay, I know what to say. <laughs> so, uh, pardon me, you guys. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening wherever you are. And this is Roz Bisla, and welcome to Roz's Gaming Cave, or Cave Gaming. Gaming Cave? I really don't know, don't know what to say. Anyways, I think I'm supposed to find Samara, but Yao Min Ch Kelly Chambers wants me to go and talk to Morden. Commander. Yes, I know, Kelly. God damn it. You'll need to tell me two, three times, God. Anyways, I'll probably skip this part and do this for another time because they'll probably talk about his loyalty mission. So, I'm going to go ahead and fast forward into the future. Here we are, we're back. I already did whatever I need to do and I did a little bit of scanning stuff, but you don't really need to. Watch me do that, probe a planet for the hells of it, because, well actually it's not for the hells of it, we need to use that for upgrading the ship, upgrading the squad mates and sh stuff. Okay. I'm gonna have that asshole arrested. Watch yourself if you go in there. Some human is causing trouble. He's demanding that I sign the place over to him. Is there anything I can do? Oh no, that crap might fly on Omega, but this is Ilium. I'm hooking up security cams now. If he or anybody else causes trouble, I'll have their asses arrested. Okay, sure. I still don't see why we're here. Salarians do not get married. My family simply negotiated a reproduction contract. Whatever, it's the closest you guys get to a wedding. And that means you get a bachelor party. End of story. I don't understand. Humans celebrate wedding contracts by tempting infidelity? That makes no sense. Calm down, man. Don't embarrass me in front of the stripper. What do Turians do? Do Turians do this too? I'm just here for the <laughs> drinks. You said that bachelor parties are for very close friends. We're just uh, co-workers. We've been co-workers for five years, though. Aren't Solarian years like dog years? Okay, that's <laughs> I appreciate the gesture. But my people don't even have sex drives the way humans do. Uh-huh. Take a look at that, man. Everybody likes the Asari. Everybody. But we actually reproduce by... My word. She is very... Clever. I can appreciate her dancing in an aesthetic manner, but... I don't have any feelings of... She is lovely. <laughs> okay. That makes my legs hurt just watching it. And my knees are meant to bend that way. This isn't as bad as I fear. It's actually... Is it warm in here? Okay, you see that bit there? It's a little different than what happened then. It's called a belly button. Humans and Asari have them, and you're gonna be doing shots out of it later tonight. That can't be sanitary. <laughs> Not the point, man. I can understand why I might find Asari attractive, but how can they be attractive to humans too? They look just like what? Salarians. What? They look exactly like us. I'm, I, I'm not seeing the Salarian thing at all. At all. You're both wrong. Asari look just like Bluturians. Look at the head fringe. <laughs> Wait, you don't think they're like mind controlling us to see them as attractive, do you? Please be quiet. You're going to ruin Asari for me. And there aren't many Turian women on the <laughs> <laughs> Well, I suppose watching just one more dance would hurt. <laughs> That's the spirit. As long as I'm not paying for the drinks. You're really holding out on me? If you want to see how far I'll go. I learned how to shove a gun in people's faces from Commander Shepard? Hey, if you know this idiot, can you rein him in before I slap his ass with a singularity? Shepard? Is it really you? It's me, Conrad Burner. We met on the Citadel? I wanted to become a Spectre? Oh, uh, and then you shoved a gun in my face? You showed me what it meant to be truly extreme. I learned that lesson oh. well. So you're alive, huh? I hear it goes like that in the biz. Why don't you sit back and watch how it's done? I got some asses to kick. Conrad, why are you acting like me? 
What are you crazy? I'm nothing like you. I'm not a specter working for the council. I wanted, okay. I'm on my own, backed only by my wits and my nerves. Mm. No rules, no laws, just whatever it takes to get the job done. Uh, I'm not like you at all. Conrad, do you have any actual I want to shoot him in the foot, but okay. I'm saving the galaxy, Shepard. I don't have time for trade. Don't you get it? You were a big jerk. But you saved the galaxy and showed other races that humans mattered. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. I had to do something. How'd you get that armor? Oh, they make some pretty convincing replicas these days, if you're willing to pay. Getting the whole getup was pretty expensive, but my wife was really supportive. She even paid for my shuttle fare oh, off God. world. So you just wander the galaxy writing wrongs? Hey, don't say it like that. I talk to people, you know? Ask them if they have big problems that only mm. I can solve. You'd be surprised how many people are just waiting for someone to I don't to know about them. that, Conrad. Sometimes I poke through crates too, you know, for extra credits. Uh, any decent security system will detect that you aren't in the military, much less part of a my squad. I just say that I'm deep cover and don't appear on systems. I'm doing the best I can, okay? You were a hero. You saved the galaxy and showed everyone what humanity could do. And then you died. The galaxy needed someone like you, Shepard. We all did. Had to do something. Uh, let's try the neutral route before I do. Why were you trying to get the deed to this place? This place is actually a front for a red sand dune. They need to take it over to crack the ring. What? Who the hell told you that? The owner of that weapon store near mm. the carport? She's an undercover cop. She told me about it when I introduced myself. Listen, crap for brains. First, we don't sell mm. red sand. Second, red sand is legal on Ilium. You just need a license. I'll talk to this undercover cop and figure out what's going on. Thank you. If I kill annoying customers, it usually causes property damage. That comes out of my pay. Just let me know if you need any help, Shepard. What is this? I... What is it? I'm in the middle of an important call. This might be worth putting your family on hold. Here's that data you were worried about. Is that the Carosa Generational Archive? I am so sorry for being rude. My whole family has been worried. That data is irreplaceable. I didn't think I'd get it back from Nasana's corporate building. If this data is so important, why didn't you have backups? We did. A rival family introduced a computer virus and our techs were sloppy. Mm. The virus destroyed all our data. I just spent a fortune getting the data recovered and reconstructed when Nasana went crazy. We live in a world of infinite data redundancy. To lose something so important because of one crazy Asari? Why is this data so important, anyway? It's a genetic history for the entire Carosa family. It's used for high-level oh. reproductive oh. negotiation. It would be like a human... pedigree, I suppose. Without it, you're bargaining from a greatly weakened position. Losing this would have hurt my family for generations, oh, maybe that's even destroyed. Well, because... Solarians have shorter lifespans, and it makes... Man, their lore... Their, their species is interesting, too. And they're very... Bioware does a really good job with their world building, and I'm still amazed by it. I guess as a, a young little Oni that played this game long ago, never really, never really took the time to actually appreciate it. Not until years, years later. There's your data. I hope it helps your family. You have no idea, human. I, I don't know who you are or how you got it, but thank you. Here for your trouble. Blessings be upon you. You've certainly blessed no us. No problem, man. Just doing my job, I suppose. Blue Rose of Ilium. What do you want? <sighs> sorry, sorry, that damn Krogan's love poems are getting on my nerves. Hmm. The Krogan's reading those love poems to get your attention? His name is Char. We're kind of hmm. dating, but, well, we're on a break. And he's trying to show me how sensitive he is by, well, wooing me. It's really bad. So why are the two of you on a break? He's serious. Serious, as in talking about kids. Char is a great guy to date, but... Or something <laughs> permanent? Yeah. 
Krogan's live long lives. It's not like dating a human where you just stick it out for a century until oh they die. Uh, no offense. It made me wonder if he really likes me, or if he just wants kids. Can't have them any other way, you know, because of the genophage. That sounds like a question you should ask him. I did. I don't think he realized that our kids would always have been a sorry. Non Asari don't always get that we're not taking alien DNA, we're just using it to randomize some of the genetic information. Anyway, Charles was quiet for a long time. Then he said that he'd love our girls no matter what color they were. It doesn't seem common for Asari to date Krogan. What brought you two together? And he's a fun guy, really smart, especially for a Krogan. And he's got a good job Aww. as a transport technician. It's fun to join a mercenary guild or dance at bars for a few centuries, but eventually you hit the matron stage, you know? Then you get your back tattoo removed, let your scalp go back to its natural blue, and settle down with someone dependable. <laughs> you need to talk to your boyfriend. He's just gonna keep shouting poetry until you do. I know, but it's tough. I like him a lot. Hell, I love him. But I don't know if he's permanent bond material. Get rid of him. No, I don't know. You should. Look at him, he's obviously crazy about you. Is he? I mean, what if he just wants to have kids? Am I just his baby making machine? He said I wasn't, but... If he said that, then you either trust him so you have nothing to worry about, or you don't, and you've already decided. I, I guess I haven't thought about it like that. And I do trust him, if he said it. I'm going to talk to him. Here. I've given you a Wait a minute. At the terminal. Wait a minute. Thanks for the help. Are you serious? I could have. This is. Can I help you with something? I talked to an old friend, Conrad Werner. We told him that the Eternity Lounge was selling red sand. Oh, you're Conrad's friend. Yes, that place is really dangerous. I should know. I'm an undercover cop. Did you get me the deed to the bar? I need the deed to mm. uh, stop the red sand dealers. Pay attention, lady. Unlike Conrad, I actually know how to use a gun. Wait, 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 wait! This whole place is under video surveillance! You can't shoot me! I don't give a vorch's ass about your security cameras. Conrad Werner is an idiot, but he doesn't deserve to be manipulated like that. You're gonna make it up to him. Okay, I'll go tell him the truth. No. You're gonna tell Conrad that he did a great job, and then you're gonna leave. That's all. <laughs> clear? That's clear. Yes, we're clear. Look, I I'm even. God damn it! I serious. Okay? I just I'll do that. Talk to Werner, and I'm gone. I swear. Oh. oh. Not the fire plates. I might need those. As well as. Excuse me. You know where I can find Serena? She's not here anymore. Oh. You're the one she was helping out. She took a job off world. Didn't say where. She gave me something for you. Looks like a message. I'll listen to it later. Oh, sure. See ya. Hey, Shepard. I was on my way to a new life when the new burst arrived. The bitch is dead. I assume that means your friend is alive and he finished his job. Tell him if I ever see him. I'll buy him a drink. The weapons merchant said that we took care of the red sand dealers. I guess I really helped. This was a dangerous operation, Conrad. You could have been killed. I'd feel terrible if anything happened to you. I didn't know. I, I can't risk you being worried about my safety. I'll stop pretending to be something I'm not. But thanks for letting me help, at least uh, for a little while. It's really good to have you back. Ah, uh, Conrad Verda. Thanks for taking care of that crazy guy. Saves me having to beat him to death with his own spine. That makes the other customers nervous. Anyway, this is Eternity, and I'm Athena, a sorry matriarch and bartender. Catch you anything? Mm. You're an a sorry matriarch? I thought matriarchs served as honored advisors. Right. Which I do oh, here I at this bar. <laughs> I know. Not what you'd expect. But nobody on Thessia wanted to listen to my wise counsel. Oh yeah, so I forgot this is am. um Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni. This is Liar's mom, mom, other mom. Fought in the Krogan rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. 
Your mother fought in the Krogan rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple Dang. of space stations. You know, commando stuff. She'd put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Goddess, that was embarrassing. You said your father fought in the Rachni Wars? Yeah, when he was young. Love showing off his war scars. Krogan thinks they're sexy. Me, I go for it. <laughs> I was a girl, he'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping arachni queen in the muck. Scientists say all that stuff about his getting genetic material from the father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. <laughs> I guess I could explain why the Yara has, has a weird personality switch a bit. Because, um, Venezia, I can't say her name, and, um, Matron Venezia. A very it seems like they have contrasting personalities. If your mother fought in the rebellions and your father was a Krogan, didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. And then what happened when he found out? I was about a hundred. Shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link. Told me that they were gonna have it out. And made me promise to love whichever one survived. Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw up with Saren hmm. and his geth a few years back. Their ships were hanging bare-assed in space when Saren started shooting. If not for you humans, we would have bought it right there. And I warned him, told people on Thessia what was coming, and they didn't want to hear it. What was coming? What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't going to cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blew up my ass. So now, I serve Man, I like Athia. As Athena? I can't even say it. What's it like living for nearly a thousand years? Hmm. Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Sometimes you hear good news, like that colony on Pharaoh surviving. That's the exception, though. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar. Even had a pure blood daughter. I was the father. Didn't work out. Then one day you wake up, your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. Um. Thanks for telling me about that. That's what I'm here for, babe. Get you anything else? I'd like something to drink. Sure. I'll set up a tab at the drink kiosk. Knock yourself out. Literally, if you want. Just don't drink anything for Turians or Quarians. Does nasty things to your insides. Once saw Krogan drink a liquefied Turian on a dare six or seven centuries back. Nobody came out of that one looking pretty. What's it like being oh, a they are... matriarch? Pretty much like being anything else. My parents had it more interesting than I did. Thanks for telling me about that. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. Oh, man. She's really full. Mystery drink. Let's go ahead. See what's this mystery drink? I think when you drink it, you go talk to the bartender again, Liara's mom, and be like, huh? Welcome back, babe. Can I get you anything? Sorry, no sex. Just clean the bar. <laughs> Wow. What's it like being pretty much like uh, so that's how she looked else. like years ago. My parents had it more interesting than I did. Thanks for telling me about that. Pleasure as always. Okay. Pardon me, I'm dealing with damn Ilium travel bureaucracy. Were you trying to get them to help you find this locket? Oh. Steep. Thank you. Thank you so much. My daughter was young when he died, 
This is the only memento she has of him. Please accept this. It's much less than I would have had to pay the bureaucrats to authorize a search. Welcome back, babe.